it really doesn't matter what you think. All right? It really doesn't matter what you say. And What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media, coming at you with a quick video today. And going to make this one real quick for you guys. This is flashback number seven. The reason why it's going to be so quick is because this is a old game. And the reason why I bring it up, college football flashback number seven, number one, Notre Dame, number two, Ohio State, undefeated, game of the century. I bring this up because they are set to me later this year uh, on week one in 2022 on September 3rd. So I figured I'd look back at some history. These are two historic programs that I think we could all agree we, we saw more of as far as playing each other. Um, they, they're set to meet in Columbus this year. Uh, I'm excited for this game. This might be one that I do. This might even be the week one game I end up doing if I go, if I try to go live. I know I definitely want to go live for Alabama and Texas week two. Um, I don't want to do Alabama every week, so I'm probably not going to do Utah State, although I'll watch it. Um, but this will be a game to watch. In fact, actually, I think I'm guessing by this, you see all these 9-2 games. This is 9-3, so this will be a Sunday night just before Labor Day on Monday in early September. So, anyway, you look at look back at this game here, this old school game, QB matchup, Andy Pilney and Gomer Jones of Ohio State, right? Um, I got a couple banners. Let me see. You got this one here. Here's an old school football someone has. I'm not sure who it is, but I apologize. 18-13 um, ended up being the score. Andy Pilney, I at least got him. He played a little bit of halfback, but he also was the quarterback for Notre Dame. And then you had Gomer Jones for Ohio State. Could not find a picture of him. Again, this is all back in the 30s. So this is old school. I mean, you thought it was hard to find stuff uh, when I did the very first college football game. This is a little different. Overall, I'll say this about the game. It was defense, defense, defense. And Andy Pilney of Notre Dame was intercepted to, to pretty much uh, start it out. Uh, it was a 68-yard pick six. Old school defensive game. They ran a bunch of, like, wishbone offense. Um, overall, I think this one is just to hype up a little bit. More so, the the week one matchup we have this year um, featuring Ohio State and Notre Dame, I think is more so what that one is. Um, I could screen share a little bit of of this game here and again i can put the links in the chat this is from the official notre dame youtube page so uh take a quick look at this and we can watch and see how it all went down this is only two minutes long game of the century Layton goes deep. Got a man. He's intercepted. They lateral. This was old school. They didn't have real helmets. They still hit. They hit hard. Backyard, old school, pigskin football. Going to hand it off to Miller. He's going to go in. So as you can see, there was some scoring, but obviously a lot of pass rush too. Some picks. He's going. 
He's going. Good cut there. It's just so incredible to see old school football like this. I mean, and it's so similar to today in ways. Not like how they run, but notice the juke move and everything, trying to fake them out. Like, they knew what they were doing back then, and they know what they're doing today. Look at this. Boom. It's just really interesting to see old games like this, uh, folks. And this was one posted back in 2012, I believe. April 19th, 2012, to celebrate 125 years of Notre Dame football. I could definitely put that in the um, description link. But overall, I'll say this about the game. It's two historic programs that, by the way, are set to match up this season in 2022. Um, but going back to 1935, that was old school ball. Game of the century, one and two, undefeated. Um, man, it's just, it, it's those games that you wish you were there for. Um, that ended up, and it did end up being the favorite. I didn't get to find a spread or anything, but I would assume Notre Dame was favored. They ended up winning by five, 18 to 13. A couple missed PATs, I'm sure. Something, maybe they did some weird two pointer. Um, I'm sure back then they counted it as six for a touchdown as well. But anyway. I just figured I'd share this one with you. It was all defense, defense, defense. You know, you had Frank Antinucci of Ohio State, who had a 68-yard pick six for one of Ohio State's only touchdowns of the game. Uh, as Andy Pilney of Notre Dame gets picked off, Gomer Jones not able to do too much for the Ohio State offense, but the defense came through until Notre Dame's defense uh, ultimately stood up uh, Andy Pilney, um, or I'm sorry, uh, Gomer Jones of Ohio State. Notre Dame wins it 18-13. to uh, This back at Ohio Stadium in Columbus on November 2nd, uh, 1935. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I know it was pretty short and quick to the point, but I figured I'd share this one with you. Again, I'm always open for suggestions on games I should go back and watch and maybe do some film review on. Uh, this one was not suggested, but if you have a suggestion for a game I should do, I want to do this in the off season, and we still got four more months until the football season, so I got plenty more I can do. Maybe if you want me to do another Iron Bowl, I could do an Iron Bowl archive. Uh, if there's a matchup that you say, hey, could you look at some history on this game? Um, I'd be happy to. So I love you guys. Jesus loves you. He's got a great plan. Please like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. And until next time, your boy Ballard Sports Media. Checking out. Love y'all. Peace.